Tonight, there's a showdown in Nevada between a rancher and the federal government over who controls 1,200 square miles of grazing land. The rancher has a lot of support from groups who believe the government is dead wrong. Terry Okita is there. Today, protesters from as far away as Florida came to this stretch of desert road. Many are armed. They say they are here to support rancher Cliven Bundy. I'm not fighting it alone. That's why all these people are here. It's all of your problem. Our freedoms are gone. His family has raised cattle here for more than a century, but the herd roams across protected land owned by the U.S. government. Bundy has refused since 1993 to pay the Bureau of Land Management grazing fees many other ranchers pay across the West. He now owes more than one million dollars. The money's not the deal, the cows are not the deal, it's still you got to understand it's freedom and liberty and access to our land and get rid of this uh, abusive uh, government. Federal and state courts have ruled against Bundy. This week, the BLM began to round up his 900 cattle across an area the size of Rhode Island. That led to this confrontation on Wednesday. No BLM! Between the Bundy family, demonstrators, and federal agents. Get out of here, you coward! At one point, officers used tasers to subdue protesters they say tried to block government vehicles. In a statement to CBS News today, the BLM said, this cattle gather is being undertaken only as a last resort, and added, safety continues to be our number one priority. But the protesters say they do not trust the government. We met Jim Lardy. He drove 12 hours from Montana. You're armed. You don't see yourself as a threat to BLM. No, absolutely not. We, we have no desire to have any confrontation with anyone. We're here to prevent a confrontation. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval is calling on both sides to act with restraint. But Scott, more armed protesters are expected this weekend. Terry, thanks very much.